Hello and welcome to episode one of our Unit 4 Financials feature Spotlight series. In this episode, we'll be discussing provisional year-end and year-end undo. Probably the most important new feature in Financials 2020 is the ability to run the year-end in two modes, provisional or full. Normally, a year-end performs the following functions. First, it will sum all the profit and loss accounts and post the net figure to retained earnings in a balance sheet. It will then post the closing balance sheet figures to period zero of the following year. And finally, it will close the year of the year end being processed, preventing any more postings. Now, that has always been a problem with Unit 4 financials because it meant that you had to wait many months until the auditors had finished all their final year-end preparations before you could finally close it after doing any adjustments. A professional year-end is a new function in Financials 2020. It'll perform all the processing that I have just described at the full year-end, but it'll not close the year-end being ended, allowing you to continue posting to that year. Any subsequent year-end processing will perform incremental postings for any postings applicable to the year being ended with an input date greater than the date specified for the last provisional year-end. So, what that means in practice is that you could, for example, if your year-end was the 31st of December, before the end of period 1, i.e. the 31st of January, you could create a provisional year-end and still keep posting to 2019, but it would then allow you to do reports for the end of period 1 that made sense. In other words, everything would be posted to period 0. So, let us have a look at that in practice. What I'm going to do is look at Security Group 1 for this company, and you can see we are in the current year 2020, period 9, but it allows me to go back into 2019 and I can carry on posting. I have not run a year end. So, let us have a look at the reports. What do they show us now? Well, therefore, on the TB for the current year 2020, you can see there is nothing in period 0. So, let us run a provisional year end now. What you can see here is there is a new flag in here that says provisional year end. And if I take that and start the process, and this is not going to take long because this company is very small, it will now run a provisional year end and do everything apart from closing 2019. So, if I go into Security Group 1 again, you can still see I can still post to 2019. But if I run the reports like I did before, you can see that the opening period zero is now populated. The report makes sense. Now, what I can do is say, for example, six months have gone by, the auditors have been in, they have made last minute adjustments in 2019, and you're now able to run a full year end. So what I can do is run and take the provisional and now run a full year end. So if I look back at Security Group 1, I no longer can go into 2019. It is locked, it is finished, I can no longer process in that year. And if we run the reports again, nothing has really changed there. There is still balances in period zero. Now say for example, the auditors have been in, done last minute adjustments, you have done your final year end, but you found there was a mistake. What you can do now at version 2020 is undo a year end. So I can say I want to undo 2019, put a lock table in, undo. And if I now go back to my security group, I can now post to 2019. If I look at the reports, we are now back to the stage where there is nothing in the opening period. This is a very powerful tool in version 2020. Some of my clients have decided to upgrade purely on this functionality. It is a big plus to any organization. It gives them more control over the year end. You do not have to wait months or even years to run your year end. You can run it as soon as you want to as a provisional. And that concludes our short video for you today. I hope you found it useful. You can watch more of our Unit 4 Financial Spotlight series on our YouTube channel. Here at Millennium Consulting, we provide dedicated support for your business. Our team of consultant-grade application and technical experts provide you with a wealth of experience in supporting mission-critical systems. We monitor and manage your solutions so you do not have to, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Contact us for further details by visiting our website, millenniumconsulting.com.
Thank you.